Hey, brothers and sisters, praise the Lord. I love you in the name of Jesus. I am so excited about what the Lord has showed me this morning. Actually, he showed it to me when I was in the bed sleep. And he came to me in a dream and he just, you know, I felt the spirit and the Lord put the scripture on me. And I'm going to show it to you. I'm going to show it to you. Deuteronomy 28. Check this out. It's a very popular scripture and it shall come to pass if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe and to do all his commandments which I commanded thee this day that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations of the earth and all these blessings shall come on thee and overtake thee if thou shalt hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Check this out. Let's just slice this up a little bit because this is so powerful. This is the operation manual. This is the instruction book. This is what it takes for the Lord to do what he going to do in our life. Okay? Check this out. He says hearken. What is hearken? You got to break it up into little bitty pieces. Sometimes we, we make the mistake of just rushing through this word. And then that's when we struggle. But look, hearken. What is hearken? Hearken means to listen. Listen. We got to listen. And see, in order, one of the things I found out is when I, when how I learned to listen to the Lord is I got to clear my mind. I got to find a time for for the Lord and meditate on God. And the closer I am to God, I can listen to his word. So we got to listen to God. And that means we got to read the word of God. That's how we, we, we create a conversation with the Lord and he responds. So first of all, you got to listen. And that's what the word hearken means. And then he says diligently. Diligently is showing interest, okay, and care and going after it. You got to show interest in it. You just can't, you know, hear the word and then, oh, okay, bam. No, you got to show interest in what the Lord has said to you. You got to show interest, okay? Just like when you, you know, when, when I began and I, I met my wife or whatever, I had to show interest that I was in her, you know, into her. I got to diligently go after her. I got to go after her with care. I got to go after her, you know, on a communication level you gotta diligently go after the word you gotta diligently okay you have to have interest in what god is saying okay that's another that's a very 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 importantly important uh concept and, and you know characteristic of getting to know god we gotta diligently seek him we gotta show interest that we really into god we can't just be playing around and just reading God like we read in some Sports Illustrated book or the newspaper. We got to stop it. You know what I mean? We got to go after God and we got to listen and we got to diligently, you know, hearken, you know, to his voice. And then he says, observe. Okay. When you observe something, you take notice. When you're going down the, the freeway and you see a car accident or a car on the side and it's on fire or it's, it's you know, a, a car accident was a, you know, there was an accident prior to you getting there. You took notice. Okay, you looked at that and you took notice. You observed. Okay, you observed. You took notice. And that's what you got to do with the word. He's telling us right here to observe which I commanded thee. Okay, and then he said, observe which I commanded thee this day. The Lord our God will set thee high above all nations. Check out all nation. All nation mean that's a community. God is going to set you up high above the community that you're within. Okay. So, if, you know, a nation, he's going to set you. You're going to stand out. Okay. You're going to stand out. People are going to notice. What is he eating? Why is he, 
you know, that way? How is he so sensible? How is he so happy and peaceful? Because the Lord said, I will set you above high all nations on the earth. That means he's going to set you above among the, the community with you in. He's going to make you stand out. The Lord is going to bless you. You ain't going to have to say nothing. People are going to look at you. They're going to notice that you are a Jesus follower. You are a man or, or a woman of God. But when you do Deuteronomy 28, Okay, he says, I'm going to set you above all nations. So you got to take, you got to learn how to do that. And then let me finish up real quick. And he said, all these blessings, blessings, plural. He said, all these blessings, I'm going to give you a lot of blessings. It come on thee. It's going to come on you. And then it's going to overtake you. It's going to overtake you. You're going to just look up and you're going to be on the top of the hill. You're going to be at the next level. You're going to be at the next level. And then he said, the voice, the voice, the voice. We got to listen to that voice. The voice, again, is when God is talking to you through scripture. You got to create a conversation. You got to spend time with God. That's where the voice is going to come in at. You got to be able to hear God's voice. And the way you hear God's voice is you get out of, you clear yourself from the noise, okay, that's going on in the world. You got to take, you got to be able to have a sober mind where you clean, your mind is clear. You're not injected with this and that and this and that. You got to be clear minded. I never forget when I used to play football in the streets as a young man, we had a friend of ours named Junior. Every time we'd be playing four on four and we'll look up and now it's four on three. And we like, what happened to Junior? Junior was gone because he heard his mother's calling him. Junior knew the voice of his mom and, and she would call him and nobody heard his mother calling him but him. And then we look up and Junior's in the house because it was time for him to go in. And Junior knew the voice of his mother. And that's because he was close to his mother. That's because he had a relationship with his mother. So I'm saying this to you today. Mm. This is the operation, Deuteronomy 28. It's the operation manual to our destiny, to our success, to our prosperity, to, to our body, our health, our mind. This is it in Deuteronomy 28. God bless you. I hope you love this message. In Jesus' name, be blessed.